With a nod to my friend Lisa Goodman, the arts community tonight puts forward our own badass <laughs> by the name of Marie Swajewski. Yes, yes. Marie Swajewski had an impossible dream to bring live theater to children and to provide young talent a forum where they could explore their own artistic vision. In her quest to follow that star, she started her children's theater in the attic, repeat, in the attic of a church in downtown Wilmington with, with less than a hundred seats. At times, her quest was hopeless. You can only imagine, imagine how difficult it was to raise awareness and support and money for children's theater. Our patrons generally support or give money to the ballet or to opera or to the symphony, but rarely, rarely to children's theater. Nonetheless, she marched forward. She marched forward without question and without pause, bolstered by a loyal following who would remain by her side for over 40 years with the help of her husband, John the Lionhearted. Yeah. She turned the New Century Club, the New Century Club, a very place that 70 years before had been the catalyst for women's suffrage in Delaware. She turned the New Century Club into her Delaware Children's Theater. And from its beginning, the theater house was a national success story. But locally, locally it was our home. A home where children could step away from television and from electronics and discover that magical moment, that magical experience of song, of dance, and of live theater. It was a home where Mrs. S, as we called her, personally mentored and mothered and taught us and loved us, the thousands upon thousands of students, including our family, the Poppity family, myself and my brother Jeffrey. We kids were from diverse backgrounds and we gathered for one purpose, as Mrs. S. used to say, we gathered to build a rainbow, to make a rainbow. And by that she meant that all of us, kids and adults, would lend our talents, big and small, and together we would make art. And when we made art, we made the world more loving, and we made the world more beautiful. And such, such is that badass Marie Swajewski, <laughs> a beautiful, a loving artist who strove with every last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable star. I agree. And now a few words via the video. I met Marie Swajewski years ago when my children were three, four, five, six years old. Uh, they showed an interest in theater and we had this building on the corner, the Delaware Children's Theater. Uh, and it seemed like a very smart thing to do to let them do some of the summer camps and just dabble in the arts. Um, but what I found was it wasn't just a dabble in the arts kind of camp. There was a very talented, incredible woman who was very professional with a lot of integrity and a lot of discipline but with an eye toward looking into the heart and the soul and to see that little spark in a child that could then allow her to do wonders. You know, getting up on stage is uh, a scary thing. It can, it can be uh, freaky. I, I still feel it, you know, uh, even now. Um, but she made it a safe place to create and to try things. And while it was about performing and while it was about theater, it was also about community and 
getting to know people and kind of coming out of your shell. Looking back on it as an adult, I realized that it was actually a lot bigger than just getting up on stage and saying lines and singing songs. There was not much in, in town except in school. And she started with classes. Um, she was play, She was doing it in different buildings. Wherever she could get a room, she would do a show there. You have to be kind of born with the this love of being in, on the stage. I mean, I remember that I would sit. I'd be sitting in school, and um, you know, I feel like most kids are probably you know, tapping their toe and wanting to maybe get to the park or ride their bikes or go, you know, play sports or something. But I was like, I can't wait to get to rehearsal. You know, that, that was like, it was my playground was coming to Delaware Children's Theater. It was like, that was where I felt that I, I fit in. She was able to establish in, in small town Wilmington, um, first class New York City standards for children who didn't have to become actors and actresses, but they could be the very sophisticated audiences in the future that would support the arts.